Hey what's going on guys, Mookie back here again, and welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. Now in this one I'm going to be doing kind of a longer video, I'm going to try and do an hour, but I mean, I might be a little less, might be a little more, you never know. But um, I'm going to try, that's, that's going to be sort of my goal. But last time I died for the first time, um, I'm level, almost level 10, and I basically died going into the Goblin Camp. So what I'm going to do on this one, is I'm going to go back and do some of the quests that I've sort of started, but not finished like ones I just accepted pretty much and there is a lot of them especially around in um, like Michael Delvin, Little Delvin, um, Hobbiton places like that so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to those places and see if I can get some of those done and I think what I might do first is I might do this quarry quest that's in scary since it's pretty close by because um, I don't think that one was too difficult from what I remember anyway I mean I, I went in there and I killed a few so I'm thinking that that might be a good, good starting place. Like, yeah, that one. Since since it's like it's only here, and it saves me going all walking all the way back to like Michael Delvin or whatever, because that's a fair distance away. And um, because the goblins that were in that camp back there are all level 13, so I'm thinking I need to be at least level 13. If I can even consider doing that quest, because right now, like I said, I'm almost level 10, so I'm pretty low in my opinion. So I want to try and try and level up a little bit. Now, where's Scary from here? I'm going to say it's this way. It's to the east, so I want to go this way. If I follow this path out, it should. I could actually cut across. Yeah, this path should lead to Scary. I think this quest thing should be... Yeah, Spiders in the Quarry. Okay, so this is this is what I'm going to do. Hopefully, I don't have too much troubles with this. I don't think we will. I can't remember... I can't remember exactly what level the Spiders were. But, I mean, it looks like I've killed three of them already, so they can't be that high. But saying that, I do think those three that I killed might have been in the forest, like walking towards Scary. They might not have been actually in the quarry, but either way, it doesn't really make much difference. What are you doing? Looks like she's carving something, I don't know. <laughs> so I look. Um, okay, we're in Scary anyway. So let's head out this way. Quarry should be down here. It's actually raining pretty bad here right now. Um, I live in Texas, for those who don't know, and um, it's flooding right now. There's been flash flood warnings. I woke, basically woke up early this morning and my phone had all these amber alerts for flash flood warnings and whatever. So it's not looking too good here at the moment, so I can't really go out or anything. So, Oh, these aren't too bad. These are level 11, so I should be able to do this fairly easily. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm, I'm fairly certain I can do this. I'm going to give it a good try anyway. Boom. First one dead. Nope. Jumped ahead of myself there. There we go. Okay, four of eight of the buyers, but then I've got the others to deal with as well. Can I... Oh, I can't get down here. Is that another... That's another buyer. Okay. So I'd say the buyers are probably the most common ones looking at it. Unless there's there's sort of more as you go down. Which definitely could be the case. It could be... It could get more difficult the more you, you go down. Which could be a bad... Could be a bad thing, to be honest. Set a trap. The traps always seem to do do good stuff. Purchase really, I don't want that. Um, I don't really want to bother looting stuff because I don't have much room. Is that another biter? Sure is. I actually got the piercing shot in there or penetrating shot, whatever the hell it's called. Try and get the barbed arrow. See, that's a deed to kill people with different skills. So I'm gonna try and try and use as many as possible with them. And there's another one up there. I don't see anything other than the buyers though, that's, that's a bit weird. At least my health's not going down, I, I was just about to say I'm going to have to watch my health, but it seems to regen like in little space in between attacking spiders. Okay, there's seven of eight of the buyers anyway. What is that? That's a tree weaver, I've got to kill those? I do, six of these. And he's a level up. He's level 12. You set a trap on this guy. <laughs> that takes him straight out. Okay, uh, I don't see any other tree weavers around here. What is that? Another buyer, so I'll get the last buyer done. Go with a barbed arrow. There's a guy in a horse, so I guess there's someone else being here. Kinda sucks, we might clear out some spiders, but I'm, I've got a feeling they respawn fairly quick, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. 
And that is the queen. What? I've got to kill two of these. Oh god, no. Um. Yeah, this isn't good. See if I can get this done. This might be a bit difficult. Yeah, I'm I'm out of here. Hold on. Yeah, she's she's respawning like crazy. What the hell? And I'm stunned. Well, this is brilliant. I guess I can't do this quest either then. I can hear them behind me. They're like following me. Don't want to turn around. Yep, they're following me. And I don't think I have any food or anything like that. What what do these do? These are souls. They increase power. Do I have anything that could I could eat maybe? Have they stopped following me now? Yes, they have. Okay. That was a queen. She followed me right out. Okay. Um. Yeah. Do I have any food? What's this? Prize pie. That's the thing I've got. To, I've done it again. I really don't want to. I don't want to use this. I want to attack stuff. I don't want. I don't want pie. Can you attack me? Oh. Yeah. There you go. That that interrupts it. Oh. At least my health's gone back up now. Okay, that's all the buyers doing anyway. But of course they've all respawned, that's a bit of a pain. Let's see. I think I'm just gonna go to Michael Delvin and see if I can get some of those quests done to be honest. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go. Head off. Let's see what I've got here. Um so the Shire. But is that's Oh, that's the chicken thing. There's a sheep theft one. And no, that's in the goblin camp, so I'm not doing that. Um, wants to protect his grazing rights at Greenfield. Pont is afraid. Oh, that's another goblin one. That's taken me from the Shire to Bree. I don't want that. Adelaide Tuck can be found in the Great Smiles in Tuckborough. Adelaide Tuck has sent word that a copy of the fan. I might do this one. So he wants me to go to. The Great Smiles in Tuckborough, which is. Now, where is Tuckborough? It's down there. Okay, so. Sort of like southwest, or. Yeah, southwest. So I want to head off this way. And I guess I'm heading to a new place. I'm heading to Tuckborough, so. Can't complain about that. I always like going to new places. Like, I was said I was going to do the deeds, the um, sites of the Shire deed. But. I don't think it tells you where they are, does it? Let me go on. Um, where's the Shire here? Like, sites of the Shire. It doesn't really tell you, like, where these things are, so I'd, I'd have to, sort of, plan for that. And, of course, I'm getting attacked by a down wolf. Come on, wolf. You're, not, you're clearly not going to do anything, are you? You're just going to lay down. Right there. there you go. Good dog. Okay, I'm level 10. If you've reached level 10, I may now use the instant... Okay. Item where on def so now like my item is actually I completed a deed. What did I, what deed did I complete? Is it the wolf one? You're gonna word to me okay. Which one did I complete though? Epic battles awaits. Oh reach level ten, okay. I didn't realise that was even a deed. I, I thought it was the wolf one, I was like what? <laughs> okay. What is this? Is this like a is this a ruin? I think I walked past this before to be honest. Which way am I going here? I need to head into Tuckborough, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and stick to the path. Uh, that way, I'm probably less likely to get attacked. At least I'm pretty sure, anyway. I mean, the 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 NPCs stick to the path, so it's got to be less dangerous. It'd be a lot easier if I had my damn horse, but apparently I've got to go all the way to Bree to get my horse. So I'm not gonna be doing that until I've finished up here. And since I've got to head that way anyway, so I might as well. You know, two birds, one stone, as always. Now entering bridge fields. Okay. I don't think I've been here either, to be honest with you. This is like a nice little place. Who are you? He's a bounder. I've got nosy hobbits. See, I've got all, all those male quests to do as well, and the, the pie ones. So here's another farm, I think. A oh, Budgeford, not Bridgeford. Did I say... Budgeford? I don't know why I said Bridgeford. Anyway, there's another quest here. There's a few quests. Let's see what level these are. Limar Bulger. Can I take a moment of your level time? Level ten. 
I'm in desperate need of your help. Look, look what I found stuck in my door this morning. Look at this. It is such a strange arrow. The head is almost... The head is certainly of Hobbit make, although very, very old. The arrow shaft, though, bears the resemblance to these made by big folk. Why would someone do this? What does this mean? It looks like the arrow came from somewhere directly north of here. Near the hedge gate leading to the green fields. I'm too frightened to go over there. Who knows what is lurking there? But could you go there... Could you go there for me and see what you can find? So search north of his house. Let's see what we can find then. Since apparently someone's shot an ancient arrow at his door. Let's see what we can find up here. It's just basically the way we came. It's out the... The hedge thing, like you said. So I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going. Um, am I supposed to see something here, or what? I'm not seeing anything. Um, what did the quest say? Uh, which one was it? It was level 10. It was this one, I think. Has asked you to search in a place where he thinks the arrow came from in hopes of finding some sign of a person who who lost it. When Willow woke up this morning, he found a threatening arrow. Near the hedge gate that leads to Bridgefields. See, that says Bridgefields. Oh, okay, the town is Budgeford, and then the th Yeah, okay. Wait, is it all the way up there? No, that's a spider quest. Okay, I was gonna say, what? Um, so I'll say there's something around here. Can I use Doi again to maybe... Is there a guy there? No, that's a Rome branch. I thought it was like a name then. I was like, what? Um... Okay. There's a copper deposit. There's the bounder. Maybe if I talk to the bounder? Can I talk to the bounder? I don't think I can. This is painful. So I was thinking maybe there'll be something up here because there's like a direct view of his house. That's a coney, I think. I think it is. No, it's not. Okay. It was on this side of the, the hedge. So I got a journal. Can I actually read these journals or anything? Don't think I can. Um, is it this one? Nope. I, I doubt I could anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it to him. This guy's got pigs. Anyway, let's go over here and see what he's got to say about this. How do you do? So, you found this journal near the hedge gate, did you? Well, hopefully it contains some clues as to who lose the arrow into my door. And perhaps it will tell if he means any harm. Good day. Might I have a word with you? Oh dear, this isn't good. Not good at all. Many of the leaves of the journal are missing, as if it was shaken and torn by a beast. Look here, see the teeth marks? Goodness, those teeth marks might be from a wolf. I wonder if some of the beasts took the pages, perhaps to line their dens. Yes, yes, I know it sounds strange, but I've heard a tale or two of them doing such things. If you could slay a few of the wolves east of here and see if they have any of the journal leaves. I seem to be missing about three leaves, all told. Once I have all the pages, I should be able to see what the author of the journal was up to. So I've got to go east of here. And see if I can kill some wolves. So there should be some around here. Yep, okay, so anywhere around here it says. Some more quests over there, but I'm going to focus on this one and do one at a time. So I'm not going to sort of lose track. What is that building over there? Um, it's just a... Oh, it's another hobbit hole. Is this even a town or are these just... This is like going out to Bree. I need to find some wolves, so I'm going to maybe look over here a little bit. Since there's fields and whatnot. There's bear. I'm not seeing anything other than bears there. So I'm going to... It says it's down here, so I'm going to assume there's some wolves around here. Can I jump this fence? I can. Oh, it's got a weird scarecrow. Yeah, I guess this is still all part of the um, Budgeford or whatever it's called. Because there's a lot of hobbits there. I'm seeing red dots, which are wolves, and here's one. So let's take some of these guys out and see if we can find these missing pages. Come on, wolf. There we go. New deed. Um, use penetrate. 
Why did I not have that one in the first place? That seems odd. I've got new mail as well. I guess I'll have to find a... There's a, mail, there's a mailbox over here. I'll go check it since... Well, I remember, so I'll probably forget. I don't know what this could be. Maybe it's to do with the deed. An epic battle from Enkerbrand's messenger. My master Enkerbrand sent me forth from his fortress of the Hornburg in Helm's Deep to bring word of, to adventures of the epic battles that will soon be joined in Rohan. If you would learn how to fight in such large scale engagements, come see me at the Boar Fountain in town of Bree. Okay, so that's about the uh, the Rohan expansion, obviously. But uh, for now, I've got slightly. I was going to say bigger things to worry about, but I, I don't think killing wolves is bigger than the battle at Helm's Deep, so. <laughs> Um, is there a wolf down here? What is this? It's like a swamp. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any wolves around here, to be honest. I think it's just going to be marsh flies. Yeah, def- Oh, there is wolves down here, okay. My mistake. Set a trap. That just takes them out straight away. I got two or three already. Now, what is that town across there? That is stock. Now, is there another wolf? I see marsh flies. Wow, what? I didn't know they attacked. There you go, stupid marsh fly. New deed, harvest. <laughs> oh my god. There's so many deeds. Wow, okay. <laughs> There's a wolf. Take him out. Go three or three. Now we can hit back. That wasn't too hard at all. <laughs> I love how they just fall. Uh, anyway, back to the guy. We've got all three leaves now, so let's see what else he wants us to do. Hopefully, the guy doesn't mean him harm because that kind of suck, and it probably means I have to go and try and find him and track him down and uh, maybe take him on. See, there's apples on this tree. I'm always looking at the scenery more than anything. Cause it's just rid it's insane how like how vast and accurate the world is on this game. But uh, anyway, he's down here. There's another quest there, see. So I'm probably going to do that one next. But I think there was another one down here as well. Can't be certain, but I'm pretty sure there is. Like one down. Yes, yeah, yeah, there's one there. Okay. I know. I knew I wasn't seeing things. Oh, good day. Marvelous! You found them all. Thank God. Now to see what this means. Goodness, this is interesting and distressing. I'll need a moment more to read this, but it would appear the author of this journal was a man named Calum, or Callum, and the tale it tells is an astonishing one. As hard as it is to believe, it would seem a distant ancestor of mine slew one of his in a great battle. And oh dear, he means to revenge himself upon me. Oh god, this isn't going to be good. Could I take a moment of your time? Goodness, the author of this journal, Callum, has a dark past. It would seem the death of his ancestor to my ancestor at the, the great battle was a black mark on his family. They bore that mark for centuries. After a string of bad luck, when, which Callum blames on the, this mark, he decided to try and erase it by killing a descent of the one who killed his ancestor. After years of tracking, he found the Shire, and me. The arrowhead that killed his ancestor was the one shot into my door. I think I know where you can find him. He describes where he's set his camp, and it sounds like it is west of here, on the far west side of Frog, Frogmoors. You have to stop him, so now I've got to go all the way to Frogmoors. Which I guess is that area there in Frogmorton. So let's head this way. Is, does this sign say Frogmoors? Uh, the East Road. Okay, well I'm going east anyway, so... This is the right way, right? Yeah, I've got to go, I've got to go down here and then... Oh, the main road is right here. It's what it should be anyway. Looks like I'm going to have to go over the river a little bit. There's a lot of bounders around here, because I guess this is... Because it's the, the kind of the edge of the Shire. Now entering Green Hill Country, which sounds a lot... A lot less menacing than anything else. What are these guys doing? I'm having an adventure. I paddled all the way from Frogmorton. Are you trying to kill yourself? Get out of the water before you drown. But I'm paddling to the Brandywine. My cousin in Brooklyn sent me this boat and I'm going for a visit. You crazy toke, you're as mad as the Baggins. I'm just trying to boat... Float down the river. Come down... <laughs> what? I'm not getting in there. Besides, you have a hole in the bottom. You're not going anywhere. I know that much. Is that the end of it? Is that all you're gonna say? I guess so. I guess they just have little cutscenes like that. I don't know. Kind of makes things a little 
It makes it seem like it's more sort of populated. That was, I, 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 I enjoyed that. Anyway, um, heading this way. Okay, so we're, we're kind of like in the woods here, like middle of nowhere. I'm not seeing any. There's a house down there. What town is that? That's a wood. Wait, what? Oh, that's this one playing chicken. Someone's playing the damn chicken quest. Oh, good god. Are they following me? Nope. They're heading on. Yeah, someone was doing the chicken quest, obviously, there. Anyway, I guess they came from this far, maybe. I guess that my, my idea of sticking to the road, kind of. What is that? I'm hearing, like, insects. Drop it. Oh, it's like a beehive. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. What is that? It's a toad. Oh. Never killed one of these, so let's see what happens. See if it's gonna give me a deed or something. Nope, no deed. I just like killing the the Shire deers. What is this? Are you, oh, these might be beehives, actually. Definitely sounds like it. <laughs> That's cool. There's just random beehives there. Uh, I need to be heading this way. Yeah, the men is confronted. Oh, I'm, I'm like south of Frogmorton here. Now, what the hell is that? A hill tusker. I killed one of these before, I'm pretty sure. I'm just trying to unlock different deeds at this point. Which, he didn't give me one, but um, we're pretty much at Frogmorton now, so. Should be seeing Callum somewhere around here. I'm not really sure where he'd be exactly. Wait, this is Hobbiton by. Where am I right now? Well, this is Frogmorton. Yeah, okay. There's probably going to be some quests around here as well. There's going to be quests all over the place. I don't want to get too overwhelmed right now, but I will. I obviously always have the option of going back. Now, here's a pub, the floating log in. You know what? I'm going to get some of these quests while I'm here. What is that guy doing up there? Oh, he's at labor. He's probably fixing the roof. This is hot work. Once we're done, it's inside for some well-deserved beer. Well, that sounds good to me. Now, where's the quest here? There's one. Who's this? This is Milo Hornblower. Might I have a word with you? That Lobelia Sackville Baggins has been telling everyone that she doesn't think she should give out presents at her birthday party, that she thinks it's more reasonable that she should be receiving them. She needs learning, so I've been raising this toad to give her as a present. I've named the toad Lobelia, and she's proved quite, quite as ordinary as the original. If you take my meaning, if you take my meaning, in fact, she's grown to be quite enormous. Well, my Lobelia slipped loose today. She's too big and tough for me to deal with when she's upset. So I need someone to calm her down. Funny though, she seems afraid of the other toads. So you might have to clear out a number of the toads in the marsh before Lobelia will show herself. If she does come out, she'll probably be directly north of the floating log. The section of the marsh is more familiar to her. Okay, so I guess I'll go find this guy's toad since I'm here anyway. There's another quest here, but I don't see it anywhere. I'm thinking it might be inside. Let me go in here. The floating log in. Yes, it's here. Okay. I hope you'll join me in the company and tell some lively tales. So, the floating log. Can I take a moment of your time? Welcome to the floating log. I'm sure you'll be wanting a drought of my toad's tongue brew, aren't you? Say, you're the one that's been helping folks around here, aren't you? Maybe you can help me help me out some too. You see, the four falling brewing moot is coming up, and I want to win this year. So I'm going to need some of the most famous hops from the fence here. Frog hops, we call them. Well, anyway, these hops grow around the frog marsh just north of here. I'm not sure what it is, but them old toads get mean when you pick the hops. Now I'm... Okay, so he just wants me to get the hops from the toads, so... All of these quests kind of lead to the, the marshes, so it's, it kind of works out. I still thought that she should close the logs during the renovations. So he, she thinks he, she should, she should close the pub because they're working on the roof. Let me head out here anyway. So if you hear that creaky noise in the background, guys, that's just my chair making random noises. And I'm trying to adjust myself because sitting here so long, it kind of, kind of takes a toll on you at least. Now I'm not sure where this guy's gonna be. What is it? This is a frog, okay, or a toad, I should say. Let me take one of these out. See, I need to get the the um, 
stuff for the beer from these guys as well. Which, I'm going to defeat eight of them to get the, um, that guy's total ability to show up as well. So there's two. They're not dropping the um, hops, are they? I don't think so. No, it's not. I've got this, and what this is. A loot box. A sturdy steel key is required, okay. <laughs> guess I can't do that. But, um, back to killing more more toads, I guess. So I guess if I kill... Are those the... Yeah, those are the hops, okay. So they're just like a plant. So I'm going to take out eight of these, and then hopefully the little will show up. I'm guessing that's what happens anyway. I can do anything else. Now, I think I'm going to need Ruby in my inventory for this. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. I've already got 12 of these. Didn't it say that the frogs get angry if you pick these? I'm not really seeing it right now. Anyway, let me take out this guy while, while I see him. Yeah, that's just like instant death. Anyway. Another one here. I'm, I'm going to try and take out the toads first and pick up the hops as I see them. And then we'll find the Callum guy. That's what I've, I've noticed happens on this game. You start off on one quest and you start picking up more. And then you kind of lose track. But I want to focus on what I'm doing here. At least they're all in the same spot. So I can't really lose track or anything. So this will be number five. Yeah, I guess the toads don't really care that you're picking the hops. She said they get angry, but I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any toads attack me or anything right now. I think she said he was on... Um, the Calm guy's supposed to be on the west side, so... I guess I'll look over there for him. Now entering Bindhole Wood. Bin Bowl Wood. There's one over there. There's a toad hiding out. Trying to camouflage himself. Boom. Okay, six of eight. Almost, almost done with this one. And I'm almost done with this one as well. I think it's like seven. Yep. So we're slowly getting there. On our little adventure in the swamp, which I didn't expect to be doing right now, but... Whatever. Getting some of the quests done at least and get some experience. Is there any more around here? There's one. This should be number eight. I don't think it'll be that far out. They're gonna be like closer to the water, I would say. There's one. So there's nine. Oh, they're, they're respawning anyway. They're still the frogs. There's ten. Did I get that one? Yeah, I did. Started walking a bit too fast there. I thought I missed it. Okay, what was the... Which one is my trap? So it's number four. Let's set my trap and take this guy straight out. There you go. It's like a like an instant death, and I killed all eight. So maybe Lobelia is going to come out now. And I got all the hops as well. So that's just a toad. That's just a toad. I'm trying to find Lobelia. She said she'd come to the area north of the sunken log. Wait, what? Where's the a backpack? Um, what is this? I just found that by total accident. Silver coins. Aged scrap of text. That's a quest, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. I don't need these dies. Yes, I want to destroy the dies. I want this. It starts a quest. Can you let me read it or what? An inside scrub of text, its purpose is not immediately clear. This can be used oh by apprentice scholars, okay. That's not Lobelia. I need to find this Callum guy. In all honesty. Um that's not Lobelia, is it? Of course not. I just need to find Lobelia, I need to find Callum. I've got the hop, so that's no. Let me have a look at the quest again, the column one, because I'm pretty sure it said he was on the west side. 
Calm's camping on the far west side of the Frogmoors West. Okay, so. The far west side of the Frogmoors. I see another backpack here. Don't know why, why there's so many of them. This one's like kind of hid. You must face the target, okay. Let's see what else is in here. So the silver coins again. That's all I'm going to take from that one. I'm still in the Frogmoors here. Just trying to find where he could be. I'm looking for his camp. I'm not, it's not like immediately... It's not obvious. Like where he could be. Okay, this is like leaving the Frogmoors now. So I'm going to say he's, he's still... Who's that? That's just a toad. He's on the west side of the Frogmoors. What the hell? Why the hell would be, he be here anyway? Like, what? Why? Why a swamp? Backpack. I'm, I'm hitting delete, see if I can sort of pick up on anything. Which I don't seem to be, so I'm, I'm probably just going to end up leaving this quest for the time being. I'm going to have to look it up. Because I'm not really seeing anything. Angry Hill Toad. And of course he's coming for me, so... You know what? Straight take him out. Boom, there you go. Stay down. That's just a toad, I don't want to mess with him. So I'm heading south now, back into where the, the bar is and everything, so... He said he would be around here, the, um, Wobelia. Wild Hill Toad. That is odd, like I've not seen her anywhere. Use a barbed arrow on this guy. Who's that? Is that just another toad? Yes it is. Like you kill one, then another one takes its place. And I've pulled two, which I didn't mean to do at all. I didn't mean to do that either, I was clicking return home. Actually, that'd be a good, good thing to do if I want to go back and do the Michael Delving quest. Which, as of right now, I think that's what I'm doing. What am I... Is there one over there? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, there's the floating log in, which is... She said it'll be, it'll be north, north of that. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and hand in this one quest that I did. With the hops. Since I've, I've done this one, so I can go hand this one in. And there she is. Don't mind the noise. The repair shouldn't take much longer. Good day. That's the frog hops you. That's the frog hops you've got there. All right. I hope the toads didn't bite. Of course, they ain't got no teeth, but they can lip you pretty fierce. And of course, I don't have any room. I don't need this. Go away. I need two spots. Um. I guess I don't need. What don't I need? I don't want this. Get rid of those. And I'll finish. She has another quest. Hello there. Oh, okay, same one. There we go. And now she's all done. Good day. How may I help you? Yeah, I don't need a beer. I've got work to do, so I'm gonna head back out. Now who's the guy that wanted the he was down here, wasn't he? It was this guy. And I, apparently I can't talk to him again. Let me see what it says. Um, now which one was it? Was it Distant Dangers? Nope. Okay, with enough toads cleared out, Lobelia the Toad should emerge somewhere in the Frogmoors north of the Floating Log. My little humble as you to sub subdue the wild toad he has named Lobelia. Well, I cleared out enough of them, so she should be around somewhere. I guess I've just got to search. I don't think Delete he doesn't like target enemies or whatever. That's a wild hill toad. See, there's a lot of them hiding in the in the waters as well, so you gotta look. Over there. Where are you? Here's a toad. 
could be anywhere here. God, this is ridiculous. Does she look different to any of the others, maybe? Said she was big. Angry Toad. Lobelia, there we go. So what, do I attack it or what? I guess so. You know what, I'm just gonna go up. Set the trap on her. And it didn't take her out. That's surprising. It usually does. I guess because she's level 10. Okay, let's do this. Scared her back to her cage. Okay, she's running off now. I'm gonna follow her all the way there, just to make sure. Keep going, will be with Almost there. And there we go. And of course, I've got this genius attacking me now. Let's take this guy out. No problem. Seems I'm taking like this. This whole episode is just going to be in the swamp, pretty much. Okay, now let's go finish this. We got his damn toad back. Just a moment. You certainly taught her a lesson. I wonder if I'll be able to keep Lobelia the Toad cage long enough to teach the real Lobelia lesson as well. We'll see. Thanks for your help. Oh, I've got a slit. I'm gonna take the sausages since I need some food. Ah, oh, this is getting annoying now. I don't need these friggin' potions. Hey, yes, go away. And I don't need these either. I don't- I just- I just want to get this quest done. I'm gonna take the sausages. And there we go. And I'm not seeing any of the quests in Frogmorton, so I think we're done here. By the looks of it. Now, there's this one. This is the menace confronted, but it says he's on the west side, so I'm not going to go that way. Clearly, it says he's on the west side, so. Which? That is the west. Oh my god, I'm so done. <sighs> I'm literally done. I'm, I'm, I'm done with life right now. There he is. Okay. Well, he looks kind of injured. So, the wretched little man sent you to end my life, did he? I suppose it is only right. My life has been a, been a, cu a curse because of the mark of the dishonor upon my family. Do as you will. I have not the strength to defend myself, as you can see. When the rat man found the arrow in his door, he raised an alarm. The rat man? <laughs> I was afraid of being found before I was ready, so I fled my hiding place. In my flight, though, I, start I startled the boar, and the vile thing gored me. It's only a matter of time before I succumb to the wound. If you are not going to kill me, at least do me the service of telling me that Wilmar... Telling that Wilmar that he has nothing to fear from me now. The tired years of my life are nearly spent. Okay. So now I've got to go all the way back just to tell him that this guy's dead. But why do you stand here? It is clear I pose no threat, and you obviously have no interest in ending my wretched life. Away with you. Tell the Ratman that he has nothing to fear from me. Vengeance will not be repaid today. Okay, so all the way back... Ah, oh, God, that was a bit of pain. I can't believe I was getting... I thought it was on the other side, and it was, it was clearly saying west. I, I can't believe that. Anyway, back we go to tell him that the guy's pretty much dead. But at least we got some quests done out of it. I mean, they were kind of fun, I guess. Killing some toads. Catching a big fat toad called Lobelia. I'm not, I've not leveled up again yet, which kind of sucks. Cause I wanted to be level 13 by the end of this. Or close to, anyway. I'm just level 10 going on level 11. Let me take out some of these. Set up a trap here. And he's dead. Okay, how far have we got to go here, anyway? Not too... It could be worse. Would be a lot better if I had my horse, but I'm not going to complain too much here. I need to be up there, I think. I'm kind of like in the... Down in the swamplands or forest, whatever. I think I should be able to climb up here, hopefully. Nope, it looks like I can't climb up there. Hopefully it sort of levels out a little bit so I can get up. Now entering bridge fields. Okay, so we're, we're, we're fairly close. We had fun with the little quest there. We got, we got a few quests in at least. And I think this is it. This is where we're supposed to be, right? Pretty certain. Yeah, Butchford. And the guy is just up there. It's amazing how like dive like 
how vast all these like little towns are in the Shire. There's another quest there. But the guy I'm speaking to is up here. Pretty sure, unless this is yeah, that's another one, I think. Is it this guy? No, it is this guy. Okay. Thought there was another one there then. Oh, good day. Goodness, what a relief! And yet I can't help but feel badly for Callum. You see, I read more of his journal, and his life was a truly pitiful one. The place where he lives, far in the north, seems to be a dark, hard-fought place. Nothing like the Shire, and he's not had much luck. I think he may deserve a bit of charity, if you would help me with this. Are you serious? He's gonna die! Good day! Might I have a word with you? Oh, God. He may not accept charity from me, his sworn enemy, but I think I should try to help this Callum all the same. This wound of his from the boar most likely needs to be bandaged to ward off infection and help the wound to heal. We should soak the bandages in an un in an unguent of, let's see, what would be best? Prickly broom, I think. I already have the bandages, but I don't have the, the broom leaves. Could I ask for your help? Could I should help me one more time and gather some prickly broom leaves from the bushes southeast of Birdford near the water? Oh, I guess so. The guy, I'd just let the guy die, to be honest with you. He literally tried to take vengeance on your life. I would, I'd be done at that point. But whatever. I, I don't, I don't write the quests. Um, so hopefully these aren't too hard to find. Not seeing any straight off the bat. Let's see. He said near the war, so they're gonna be around here somewhere. And this scene's still playing out. Let's see, they should be sparkling, I would think. There's not any of those. Set to the southeast, so it's they're probably further down a little bit. Which is a questing right there, so I guess we need to go a little bit further. He wants me to cross the river by the looks of it. Who's that guy? He's a townsperson, it's not Ted Sandy Monks, I know he's in Hobbiton. Can't go in his house, so I, I meant to go in Bag End when I was there, but I'll probably be back there either way. Oh god. Yeah, I forgot about those. These aren't, these, these aren't terrible to take out, they, they fall pretty quick. And another one. They fall quick, but there's just too many of them. Can I even trap these? No, I can't. Should have known, because they're damn flies. Just die, stupid fly. There you go, okay. Hopefully we don't run into too many more. Ah, okay, this is them. They're kind of blended in, they're camouflaged fairly well. No, you don't. Uh, okay, let's see if I can find any more. What is that, is that a mouse? It's a shrew. Probably, I thought he was gonna die like the, um, the, the deer. Anyway, he's gone now. There's one right there, but there's a wolf. And a fly! Oh god! I'll take out the fly first, there we go. And then the wolf. Wolf said I've got to defeat 30 wolves in the Shire for that deed. I don't know if it's a quest or what, if it's a deed or a quest. But either way, let me take some of these out. He's level 11, so he's higher level than me. But he falls just as quick anyway. Um, okay, there's one here. So there's two or four. Damn, there's a wolf right there. He set a trap, screw him. There you go, wolf. Now, is there any down here by the war? There's one there. Damn, there's a lot of wolves here. So this will be three or four. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy in. No. Okay, I'm still slowly getting through those wolves. I'll take out this marsh fly as well since it's right here. 
Gotta kill 30 of these as well. Damn. Now, I don't need to kill the shrews, so I'm gonna leave those alone. But if there's anything else I see, I'm gonna take it out since I'm gonna be doing the deeds anyway. At some point. Okay, I need one more of those bushes. Uh, who's that over there? I wonder. That's stock, I think. I've seen any bushes anywhere. Probably some more back down here that have sort of respawned. It's telling me to go right down there. But I don't need to. Because I don't think I need to. There should be surely there's some around here. Okay, maybe I do need to go further down. It kinda sucks. I don't want to go all the way down there, but looks like I'm gonna have to. I figured they'd respawn back like everything else does. There's not one on the island, is there? Doesn't look like it. Now entering the marsh, okay. Um, is there one? Nope. There's one there. And of course, there's a friggin' fly on it. I don't know why I'm doing that, because that's not going to work. Oh. It actually did work, okay. Maybe I guess sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So there we go, 404. So let's go back, get the bandages made up, and then probably end the video off here, because I think I've been going for roughly an hour. Maybe a little bit less, but thereabouts. When I get back to this guy, I'll probably be in about an hour anyway. And we, <laughs> I didn't get as much done as I, I, I would have liked. But uh, we got a good few quests, and anything that sort of progresses the story a little bit and gains me experience, I can't argue with that. So, back to Budgeford, and I'm gonna end this quest off. Who's this guy? Hungry Hobbit. I would like to do all those pie quests and the mail quests or whatever, at some point. There's just pigs randomly walking the streets here. But this guy's right here, isn't he? Now that's another. There's another quest right there. I think he is down there. Yeah, he's across from the pig farm. Should be there. There he is. Willemar Bolger. Hello there! Ah, you have the leaves. Please let me have them. This will only take a moment. Please take these bandages to Callum at the campsite on the far west side of the Frogmoors. Tell him he should change the bandages daily. There are enough here for seven days. Hopefully there will be enough to help him heal. Also, let him know that I hold no malice against him and ask that he do the same for me. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one off, since it's not too far, or at least not really far, I guess. I mean, it's it's a decent, it's a decent trek out there. But um, I guess I, I kind of want to have closure at the end of this, you know, like do the whole quest chain in the video, just so it all, it's all sort of combined in one. So I might as well, since it's 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 just around here, isn't it? I mean, the journey wasn't. The journey back wasn't too bad. It looks, it seems to look bigger on the map, but then when, once you start walking, you see the the miles go down or the meters or whatever the hell they are. You see them go down on the the mini map, and then you're pretty much there. So <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna whine about it. Like I said, I just want to get this one all done in one video. And of course, we're back. At, see, we're in the frog moors already, so that wasn't that wasn't far at all. We'll be there in no town. I, I, God knows what his response is going to be to this. I don't know if he's going to like... I mean, if I was him, I'd probably come back and end up killing the guy, since I want... He says he was like being cursed by his ancestors, so... I would have... I would heal myself and go straight back to his house, and... I guess the Hobbit kind of deserves it, because after... After... He tried to take my life like that, I wouldn't be helping him. But uh, that's just me. Let's see, I'm trying to avoid the angry toads, because obviously they're, they're going to start attacking me. Which I'm doing a good job so far. We're pretty much there. Yeah, it's just over the hill. And... Here he is. He's behind this tree, I think. There he is. Okay. Callum. Bandages for the little man. Anyway. I'm gonna finish... What does this do? 